Hey guys, another Gooby Rock video. Today, I want to talk about how Noob03 is. Yesterday, it was how disgusting they are. Today, that's how Noob they are. <laughs> so, we're talking about the level 4 gates, which open in... Um, let me check real fast. I think it's like 12 hours, or like 8, eight hours? 9 hours? They open in 7 hours. So, they're asking why I'm not at the gate yet. Why do I need to be at the gate right now? Why would I farm here when I can farm here Next to the runes and the guardians. It makes no sense. They're very strange in that they're already packed into here. And they're just covering all of the land that they would be farming on. So... We're about to go to war, and they can't even really farm effectively. They have to farm off their territory, because they're all packed in there already. It's really not a big deal to teleport in there, and later. And besides, the uh, this doesn't even open for another two days or so. Let's see. So it's a day and 19 hours plus 12 hours. So for all that time, they're not going to be farming. Almost two and a half days. Meanwhile, we're just power farming. So we're going to have a nice, nice bushel of resources. Um... What else have they said today? So they're talking about, I'm sure SW's, where'd it go? Well, I don't know where that message just went, but he said, I'm sure SW's combat technology is good. <sighs> the noobs in 03 have never fought a war before. Um, so they're not experienced in this. But what you can do is you can... I can leave SH. And I can join SW. They think I'm just going to join SW and fight them there. But it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that you can join SW, walk through the pass, and then rejoin SH and fight them with your normal technology and your normal shine buffs. Since they're inexperienced, they don't know that. But I fought many wars, and I've done this many times. It's very simple. It's the basics of the game. I know that their leaders already know that we'll do this. That's why it's not the leaders that are talking about it. It's the R3s, the R2s, the R1s. The leaders are experienced in us doing this to them. Because the, the people who migrated from 02 to 03, their alliance used to be here. And it kind of sprawled out into this zone and a little bit into this zone. And we jumped to VN to fight them. While they slept, we joined VN and we built to their flag and we burned their flag out. It instantly deleted 
90% of their territory. I'm going to see if I can find the images real fast. It's hilarious. And effective. Where's the picture? I take so many screenshots. Hopefully I can edit this out later if I'm not lazy. Um, gotta be like right here. Wow, I've taken a lot of screenshots. Oh, here's some great ones. A burned MS flag. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was Alpha. That's cute. Um, where's the picture of their territory? It's like one of the greatest pictures I've ever taken in this game. Oh, here's another funny one. I mean, I've been at war with O3 for a month now. I mean, I've burned half their fucking kingdom. <laughs> and they haven't even met my main account yet. I've taken their passes, I've burnt their fortresses, I've burnt their flags. All it takes is like 200k power. Just cause total chaos in their kingdom for a month. Where is that picture, bro? Is this it? Is this it? It is. This is all the territory that we knocked off of GL by burning one flag. Look at this. This was before. I'm like, okay, guys, this is what I, I circled everything that we were going to knock off by killing just one flag. And then here's the after effect one flag. Amazing. Is this the picture of where we broke the flag? It is. It was right here. I mean, it was so obvious. I mean, they say that they're so experienced. But they let us build up to their pass and their flag. So we cut that one flag, and they lost their entire territory while they were sleeping. <laughs> so when they woke up, they had no flags. <laughs> and it's smart. Why would you attack your enemy while they're awake? Especially this type of enemy, which is... It's mostly information warfare. They, they play victim. So they plot to zero Gandrick and I while we were sleeping. And then migrate out to collect after... Here's their plan, okay? So their plan was to... Get the level 3 shrine rewards, get the level 3 pass rewards, and get the lost temple rewards, and then migrate to 04. At this time, 04 was the Rising Star Kingdom. And me and Gandrick found out that they plotted to zero us. So instead of waiting for them to attack us, we were proactive. We had the screenshots, we had the evidence. We had full confidence in their in what their plans were. People close to them told us about their plans. So it was extremely credible. So we executed that war on them while they were sleeping. And now they complain about it when they plan to do the exact same thing to us. But why would we attack them while they're awake so that they can sit there typing in Kingdom Chat about how we're tyrants and dictators and this and that? When we can just attack them while they sleep and they can't type. <laughs> and 
I'm sure Sun Tzu would do the same. I don't... If he has a chance to attack his enemy while he sleeps, I'm sure he will. It's tactical. But anyways, all of that to say that we can very easily hop to SW, walk into the ruins, rejoin SH, and fight to the last troop. But this is just so cute. I mean, just adorable. They're all cuddling. And they're doing this on the other side, too. They're in such a rush at Future Graveyard. It's all their noobs. They're just packed in. They're cuddling. It's cute. It's cute. But I don't know why they're there already. I mean, we have days until we even need to be there. We might send a couple accounts for the level 4 gate. That's about it. The rewards are trash. The rewards are total trash. 700 gems, a golden key. 165 minute speed ups. Some honor. Seriously, not a big deal. I'll teleport there in seven hours. And then I think exactly 24 hours, not 24 hours, I think two and a half days after the pass, the ruins open, and that's when the true fighting will begin. Um. And they just don't realize that. They think that because SH didn't build there, we're screwed or something. Which is cute. The inexperience shows. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys in the next one.